know this is kind of a weird angle, but this is the best I can do for you guys. Um, you guys are sitting on my little GPS thing. So I'm just gonna let you guys know right now that I'm not gonna be looking at my camera a whole lot because I'm trying to be a safe driver. So anyways, it is so important right now that we're continuing to follow the social distancing guidelines. I know a lot of states have it in place right now. Some places have curfews. My state does not. Um, but it's really important that we practice social distancing. And I know a lot of teenagers are going around saying, well, it's not affecting me, so it doesn't matter, I don't care. There, there's still tons of people every day in my state who are going and like hanging out at cookout and stuff. And I just wanted to say that just because you are not the one who could get sick, um, you could be getting other people sick. I have grandparents who live in my household, so it's really important for me to make sure that I'm washing my hands, making sure that I'm staying clean with anything that I touch and stuff and so that's why it's so important that we're trying to do this and a lot of other people are also saying that you know it's not doing anything there's still people getting sick and the whole point is to flatten the curve so even though a lot of people are still going to get sick the point of flattening the curve is that when we have when we flatten out the curve people are going to the hospital a less rapid pace so even though there are going to still be a lot of people who get sick our hospitals can manage the number that are going in and out and having to get treatments done to fix the coronavirus situation that we have going on right now. Um, and a lot of people I don't think understand the point of flattening the curve and that's so that because the difference is if we have a little hill instead of a big spike, when we have a big spike we end up running out of hospital space, lots and lots of people end up dying because we don't have enough ventilators, we don't have enough CPAP machines. And that's why it's so important right now that we're practicing social distancing, even if you're completely healthy, because other countries have also shown that some of the people that were dying there were young people who never had health problems before that. So it's really important that everybody is just trying their best to stay at home and not go out unless completely necessary. So that's why the social distancing is going to be helping and working in case you didn't understand the thinking behind it. Anyways, we're on the way to Aldi's, which is a grocery store in the south. So I just got here and the parking lot is like really empty. I don't know if you can see that, but usually this parking lot is packed full. Um, my mom tried to come here earlier this morning and she didn't get anything so now i have to go shopping for whole milk pickles and napkins i'll see you guys sometime but they had no napkins at all no pair of towels no toilet paper you know like normal yeah so i guess i'm gonna go get my starbucks drink now and i'll bring you guys along for that hope you guys enjoy let's go so I'm now heading over to Starbucks, which lucky for me is just across the street. Oh my god, my Starbucks is so cute. Um, my Mercedes Benz is ordering. Oh my god, it's my turn. Can I get a strawberry fresher in the Trenta size? Trenta strawberry fresher? Sure. Would you like to try it with the lemonade today? Uh, no, I'm okay. Okay. What are those going to be? 568? Thank you. 568 guys for a drink that is like two three i don't even know how many sizes bigger than the tall how are you doing today? good how are you so yeah guys i've just got my strawberry refresher i think i'm gonna go sit in an empty parking lot because i'm not ready to go home and sit in my room <laughs> okay so I finally figured out how to turn it sideways after I've recorded basically this entire thing vertically. But I'm sitting in a parking lot by myself and I got my giant Starbucks drink. This is the Trenta Acai Re Strawberry Acai Refresher. If you're wondering, that is how you say acai. At least I think. But I know I've seen some people say like acai. Don't say that. Acai. I'm not going to touch my straw in my hand. Oh god, this is not a good idea. So now, I'm sitting in my car, and it feels nice to be out of the house. 
So if you guys know me, or if you guys want to get to know me, um, I bet I guess I can tell you guys about myself right now. So basically, I had an old YouTube channel that I started in the seventh grade, got to like 60k views on a video, but I ended up feeling really embarrassed about it when I got older and some people in my high school found out and were like making fun of me about it and stuff. So I decided to start a new channel. The old channel, if you go looking for it, is no longer up. I didn't delete it. I hid it from YouTube. I can't even search it up and find it unless I want to unhide it and it's a whole process that I have to do. This channel I started in November and I've now hit 50 subscribers, which I'm so excited. When I hit 100, I think I'm gonna do something like bake a cake for it because it means so much to me that 50 people or 100 people or however many people I end up getting to one day are wanting to watch my videos and think that my videos are good enough to subscribe. I just wanna be here for you guys and let you guys know that I'm always looking to have new friends and I want you guys to know that I'm always looking to be talking to you guys because it is just crazy to me that 50 people wanted to subscribe to my channel so so much for 50 subscribers it means the absolute world to me you guys are amazing i will do at 100 i'm declaring what i'm gonna do now at 100 subscribers when i hit it i'm one going to bake a cake and two i'll also do some type of giveaway i'll probably just do a gift card because that's easiest for me because mail places really aren't that open right now i will send it to you in the mail if you win I already for that and thank you so so much and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i know it's a little boring but i promise i am more interesting than this i love you guys so so much and i hope you guys have an incredible day and make sure to keep social distancing